dope coming at my pores Walk in by the whole store Remember I was poor Oh well, not no more Get paid, fuck these hoes Used to have to sell that rock Now we'll be rocking Hey guys, welcome to JMOF Pickup This is JMOF Today we're going to talk about kind of an in-depth topic expanding upon my other video of working volume. This is going to cover kind of how to work your numbers, how to work volume some more, more in depth, how to set up dates, how to deal with all that. Because I have a whole bunch of topics queued up of the types of stuff that I want to talk about, a lot of valuable stuff. But this is one of the biggest things I think. The more I think about it, this is one of the most cornerstone pieces to mastering the game. Okay. Of course, your in-person vibe and the value and all that stuff you bring to the set is important, but it's going to really be important for how you are able to work these leads and set up the dates and deal with all the different situations. All right. So I made a little list here. I'm going to reference. Uh, oh, also, I want to point out my new little titties cap here. I'm wearing my little Bruce Lee DJing shirt as well. I've got a lot of <laughs> fun new shirts on the way in the mail, as you will see in my subsequent videos. Okay, so setting up dates. Now, I talked about before in my tactical game breakdown video, how you're gonna be getting leads from night game, from day game, from online game, okay? You're gonna be taking those dates and setting up, uh, or taking those phone numbers and setting up dates. If, I'm not gonna go over how to frame those things to set up the dates when you're in the in-person interaction, but I'm gonna go over how to deal with these numbers once you have them, okay? So basically, when you first open the girl with the number, I usually say, hey, it's John from wherever. Um, I send a picture of myself and I say, send me like a good picture of myself, right? One that's been rated high by the girls, usually with a professional camera and some Photoshop applied. Doesn't need to be green screen just to make yourself look aesthetically pleasing, right? So a picture that where a girl would rate you above like an 8.5 or above a 9. I send that, I'm like, send me another picture of you. Okay, so they send that picture, and I always say cute. Um, so when are you free to meet up? I immediately go to logistics, okay? Because I don't like to fuck around over text. Um, usually you should have agreed to some sort of plans in the night game interaction, okay? But if this is like an online game number, or if you didn't make those plans in the night game interaction, you're going to be saying, cool, when are you free to meet up? She's going to suggest certain days so she's going to say well I'm, I usually work until 5 or until 6 and what you want to do is you want to meet up as fast as possible as soon as time that both she is free and that you are free and then you're going to set that right but if she says oh like I'm, I'm fairly open whatever she says it's a specific day right what you're going to do say she says a specific day you're going to say which is better afternoon or night okay now I don't have a full time corporate job okay a lot of you do or you have obligations during the day, so modify this accordingly. All right, it doesn't. You don't need to say afternoon or night better unless you're talking about the weekend. If you have obligations during the day, all right. So I, I will since I don't have you know formal obligations during the day. Like if my schedule is flexible, I'll say it's afternoon or night better. Now, if she says afternoon, now here here's gonna be like your biggest ally in closing these leads. Okay, the calendar on your phone. Okay, so I use an Android phone. Same shit on an iPhone. You're gonna go into your calendar app, and here's the here's the verbiage that I use, like the terminology that I use to keep things straight for me. Like I'll set at like 10 a.m. the day I have a date, I'll, or 9 a.m. whatever. I'll set um, a reminder that says so and so the way she saved my in my phone, so that name so that I can find the text thread and reference it that day of the date. So and so at whatever time. So so and so at three. Right, um, and I stack these now, usually about two hours apart. Right, so I'll, I'll set like a one o'clock, a three o'clock. Five. These are, these are the slots you have. Okay, so you have a one o'clock, a three o'clock, a five o'clock, seven o'clock, a nine o'clock. Right, and it's, you're not going to fill them all, and like girls are going to flake, and girls are going to reschedule, and certain dates are going to take longer to close. Or you're going to want to like repeat a certain girl you closed a bunch more times. So each day you're dealing with like this schedule in flux, all right? So you, and you're, you're trying to fit rotation girls in here as well. And you're trying to fit in time uh, to go out to nightclubs, right? Like you're not gonna be scheduling dates typically late at night on a Friday or Saturday because that's the time you have scheduled for nightclubs to acquire more leads, right? And usually Thursdays as well. So, um, let's see. Okay, so, but if you're doing dates to the venue, I should 
caveat this if you're doing dates to the venue you want to set two and a half to three hours uh, difference between times so for those of you that have full-time jobs try to get away with setting a 6.30 date and then a 9 okay that gives you two and a half hours or set like a 7 o'clock and like a 9.30 right but the problem is for that 9.30 we want to make sure the girl like doesn't have like a hard stop at like 11 or whatever because then you finish your drink at the bar or whatever and then it's time for her to go home so a lot of this is like careful fucking planning and careful rearranging. I'm gonna cover how I personally handle and what I think is the best way to handle all these rearranging. But this, you know, this may seem like, seem like a stupid topic to you guys, but this orchestration of managing the leads and working the leads and dealing with the leads is like absolutely critical and essential to closing them out, okay? Which means having sex with the girl, right? Like, there's so much fucking work, and it actually starts to like take over your life, like the more, the more rotation girls you have and the more dates you're setting up and the more you're closing out stuff. It literally just like starts like very quickly like taking up tons and tons and tons of time. Because you literally have to like constantly be hitting these girls up to schedule shit, to confirm shit, to call them out for why they flaked or you know, or why they're not responding. And I'll try to cover these cases here. I made a list of things to cover here. So back to that example. Say she's like Wednesday, right? And I'm like, cool, is afternoon or night better? She's like, afternoon. So what I'll do is I'll go to that Wednesday on my Google Calendar, and let's say it says like, Stephanie, 1 p.m., like, Alicia, 7 p.m., whatever. I'll be like, okay, I have like a three o'clock spot, okay? And I also like try to like, you, have to, you also have to factor other shit you're doing, right? Like if I have a business meeting, or if I have, like when I'm playing, I'm going to the gym that day, right? And that's a little bit flexible, like me and Sonny. Sonny doesn't have like a formal, or a formal commitment. Uh, to work hours. Either his schedule is flexible as well, so we can like, we both can like uh, finesse our time we go up to the gym based on the girls we're seeing that day. But in this particular situation, I'd probably be like, cool, let's plan for 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Wednesday, sound good? And she'd be like, yeah, and a lot of times it's like, what are we going to do or whatever? And that's where you can go into the do you like wine, I talked about that in the other video, framing wine dates to the house. Do you like wine? She says yes. Um, cool, we can split a bottle of wine in my new apartment. Um, do you prefer red or white? She says red or she says white. Cool, come to the house. That's cool, I'll see you at 3 o'clock, right? If she says I can't come to a stranger's house, you say it's okay, bring pepper spray if you're that worried. Or LOL, I'm really laid back. Uh, bring pepper spray if you're that worried, LMA up. And I discussed that in my video for setting dates here at the house. But since I've cut way back on alcohol with my lifting stuff, what I've been experimenting with and which is working almost just as well, I don't have enough data yet, but it's, it's working pretty well is I'll just say, instead of bringing up the wine thing, instead of saying, do you like wine? I just say, cool, we could chill at my new apartment and see how the chemistry is, right? Same thing, just inviting her to the house, but now there's no expectation of drinking. And you can, you know, if I, if I, if I once I get enough data, if I find that that's like causing more resistance to coming straight to the house, because there's no like activity plan there, um, and it makes it more pressure for her in her mind, like that we're gonna hook up or something, which is like the anti-slut defense problem then I'll probably just, you know, start pouring a glass to myself and like, you know, pretend drink it or something like that or, or we get to the house and, the, you know, I just change the subject if, if the wine is brought up or whatever or, oh, sorry, I ran out of wine. There's any number of ways to handle that. So the wine is not an important critical piece. It just kind of gives yourself a reason for inviting you to, inviting you to the house. You can cook food or do any kind of shit like that, have tea at the house. Um, okay, so that's, that's the order that I do it. Um, Hey, it's John from wherever. Um, and I might even like say like a little thing to like provoke a reply. So I so say I didn't send any plans and then I came into action, which you should be doing. You should be framing specific day, time, and activity. And I talk about that in my how to run a night game interaction video on this channel. But say you forgot to do that, then what you're gonna do the next day is um, you're basically gonna say, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, okay. So you're gonna say like, it's John from such and such, and I might provoke a reply by saying, are you always as crazy as you were last night, wing face? Right, and what that does, is she's either gonna be like, ha ha ha, yes I am, or she's like, ha ha, what, did you, what do you mean, how is I crazy? And then you're like, lol, and you just go around the logistics anyways. And by logistics, you're saying, so when are you free, right? So, she suggests Wednesday, in this example, I say afternoon or night, she says afternoon. <clears throat> I check my schedule, I have three o'clock open. <clears throat> I say, cool. How's three o'clock sound? She says, yes, yeah, sounds good. 
like cool, we could chill at my house and see how the chemistry is. And then if she pushes back on that, I say the pepper spray objection answer. If she pushes back on that, you have a judgment call to do a date at a bar or a coffee shop or to just cancel on her completely because the odds for hooking up, I talked about in the first dates of the house, the odds for hooking up are gonna go down. And she's it's basically like a screen, like she's it's gonna be hard for her to pull home from that bar date, it's gonna be hard for her to hook up at the house when she wasn't willing to come to the house right off the bat, is what I found. I talked about that in that video. Okay, some other different types of responses she can give. She can say like, oh, I, I'm generally pretty free during a week after 6 p.m. Okay, I get off work, I'm, I'm generally pretty free after 6. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna look at your calendar and you're gonna set her for the soonest available day uh, past 6, okay? So, and she's gotta go and change, so that's, you're gonna probably set it for 7. You're gonna look at your calendar, say that you're, you're texting on a Sunday, you see you have plans Monday night with a different girl, you see Tuesday's open, you say, cool, how about Tuesday at 7, right? Because you wanna set these as fast as possible, because you're working each lead down to the bone as fast as possible, because what's gonna happen? It's gonna go cold, colder over time, and the probability of her wanting to meet up is gonna go down, okay? And once you do meet up and close, in order to retain her, watch my rotations video on this channel. I talk about how you can lock her in and keep her around for subsequent sessions and set up the, the subsequent dates and stuff like that.